Hello everyone, it's an honor to welcome you to Gospel Drum. On today's episode of Gospel Drum, we will cross over the Atlantic to bring to you one of Africa's top gospel musicians who has gained the title Son of Africa. Don't you go away, we will be right back. My name is Anna Malago from Kenya and you're watching Gospel Drum. My name is Josephine Atanga. Seated with me in our list of studios here in Maryland is one of Africa's rising star. So talented and anointed for times like this. His music is topping charts not only in Zambia but all over Africa. He is known as the Son of Africa. But above all, he is the child of the Most High God. So please join me to welcome. Ephraim, the son of Africa, to our list of studios. Thank you. Thank you very much. God bless you. How God, are you doing? God bless you too. I'm doing fine. Um, I just arrived uh, in the U.S. Um, three weeks ago, and uh, we've, we have seen the hand of God. I've, uh, I've done two new albums, and uh, we are, we're up and about you know, spreading the gospel in the U.S. Amen, amen. That's right. Hallelujah. Uh, last year, you remember last year we, we had planned on getting you in the studio. We were supposed to do a program. That's right. But because you had to travel back to Zambia. That was very sad. Yeah, <laughs> it was right. not possible. Yeah. But, you know, God knew that you would come back and that we needed to do this program. And we are excited that you are. He's a faithful are. God. That's amen. Right. Indeed, he is a faithful mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. I just give God the glory for you. So young, so talented, but anointed for times like this amen amen amen, amen. I'm an, I feel honored to be used of God and uh, you know 
a lot of people, you know, would want to be in, in my place, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, so, and I, I don't count myself worthy to be, you know, to be, to, be, to be where I am, but I can just only give praise and glory to God. Amen. I think it's just because you are actually, you know, doing what God has called you to do and you're right. listening to his voice. That's right. That's right. Amen. Because so many young, younger people, people of your age, they're doing secular music. Mm. But looking at a young, talented, handsome servant of God that has decided to serve God in his young age, mm. you know, like you, mm. I mean, I just give God the glory for your life. Amen. Amen. And Amen. It's not like uh, I, haven't, I haven't been there where they test you to say, if you sing secular music, we will promote you, we'll give you this and that. I've, I've, been, I've been there, mm. but uh, it's a decision one has to make, mm -hmm. you know, like you're saying, you know. I'm young and, uh, you know, other, pe other young people like me are excited, you know, to, to money, mm -hmm. you know, women. Mm -hmm. and uh, The fame. And the fame, that's uh -huh. right. <laughs> but one thing I remember my mom telling me is that when you sing for God, God will lift you up. And that's exactly, uh, uh, that's exactly what has been happening in my life. So um, had it not been for my mom, maybe I would have been, you know, I would have been like... Uh, other youngsters out there but mm. you know she kept on you know you know uh, telling me to say when you sing for god you know god will just take you higher and higher amen amen talking about your mom yeah not just your mom who is a christian but also your dad you grew up in a in a christian home that's right you know what was that experience like for you that was a uh, <laughs> was an awesome experience though tough because uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, they are very strict. They want you to, um, you know, make sure that you don't miss Bible studies. And um, uh, every day we used to have like evening service, you know, at home with, with, uh, with my brothers, my mm -hmm. sisters. And, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, it used to happen like, uh, you know, your mom, my mom would just probably come and say, oh, you are ministering today. You're the one speaking the word, so you have to study the word. You know? So it was rough, but um, mm -hmm. I give God the glory because that's what, you know, Beth, Forth, amen, son of Africa, amen, saying. amen. You know, the Bible says, train up a child in the way he should grow. That's right. So when he is, in the way he should go. So when mm. he grows, he will not depart from, from it. The and mm. the, the, your mom did the right thing, you know, in training you up in the ways of the Lord. That's right. Amen, That's right. Amen. amen. And uh, listening to your testimony, you know, that's your DVD, you said, you hated gospel music. Why did you hate gospel music? Okay. Uh, but it irritated you. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know how it is when you're, um, I used to stay with my, you know, uh, cousins, you know, uh, uh. We, um, and every time they would be listening to, you know, worldly music and, mm -hmm. you know, for us that was like, oh, that's cool, you know, mm. they're listening to, you know, insults and whatnot, whatnot, and go like, oh, that's cool, that's cool. And then my, my other brother would be listening to gospel like, oh my God. What's that, you know? <laughs> but then later on, uh -huh. I discovered that my cousin was going astray and my brother was mm. very stable, you know. Even mm. my brother ended up going to uni and my other, you know, uh, uh, you know, my other cousin just, you know, started, you know, drinking and whatnot. Mm. But I thank God that now he's changed. Yeah, but let, uh, come on, let's be realistic, you know. Yeah. Growing up in Africa, you know, listening to gospel music, oh, let's say 15 years ago, it's totally different from the type of beats that, you know, the gospel artists play nowadays. Yeah. In those days, it used to be boring. And like a young man, <laughs> you wanted something that was upbeat, yeah, you know. Upbeat, that you know, and to keep you, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah. But but yeah, yeah, no, we, we thank God because, you know, the devil just stole the rhythms. Yeah. You know, and, and the devil would want to keep, you know, people excited, you know, using the, 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 the formula that he got from you know from church mm -hmm, from mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and and so we 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 are, we are taking over and showing the world to say this Amen. belongs to us and we, we we has we have to you know um, to take over because music originated from heaven that's right that's but right. like you rightly said the devil just told it that's right so it is now left for us to go back to the enemy's camp and Take back what you Ta know the yes, devil stole right. from us. That's right. So we are taking back our rhythm, we're taking back our beats, mm -hmm. we're taking back our music, mm -hmm. you know, back from the enemy's camp. That's right. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, you, you had refused, growing up, you refused to join the choir. 
Was there any reason why you didn't want to? Because your mother, you, I mean, your, your whole family sings. Mm. Yeah. Uh, your siblings all sing in the choir. Okay, number, no, number one, number one reason <laughs> why I refused. Uh, they used to tell me I didn't have a good voice. Are you kidding me? Yeah, so sometimes they'll, they're like, oh, no, let him, let him just sit on the keyboard. He doesn't have a good voice. And that really used to frustrate me. Mm. And then the other thing is um, when I learned how to sing, when I, pr I, I remember praying to God saying, if you give me a good voice, mm -hmm. you know, I'll sing for you. You know, and all these people who stop laughing at me, you know, and uh, you know, one one uh, one Sunday, my two elder sisters were invited to sing um, at another church, yeah. and so the, there was no one to sing in church, and the pastor said, "Is there anyone to sing in church?" And uh, you know, I felt in my spirit that I needed to sing mm -hmm. that particular Sunday, mm -hmm. and I sang in church, and the Holy Spirit just moved, you know, and Thank and pastor was like, "Oh." From now on, you'll be singing in church, and that's how I joined the group. And then later on, you know, you find that, you know, some, some people in the praise team are not serious. So you're like, oh, what am I doing with this group? <laughs> you know, when, when you're on fire, and then it's like other people are dragging you be behind and stuff like that. And, uh -huh, and, uh -huh. so, and so my father became hard, and he was like, oh, uh -huh. okay, so you won't eat if you won't sing. <laughs> you know, you, sometimes you lock you up and say, are you, kidding you need me? to sing, yeah. So that's that's how I, I you know, mm -hmm. I ended up singing alone because uh, I felt you know when you know when you have a vision, yeah, and you have people that are distracting you, people who are not serious. Mm -hmm. Even though when you even though you want to be serious, you you find you find yourself in the same place because um, you know they say bad company corrupts good <laughs> morals. <laughs> so I, I I didn't understand that word, but I think God just helped me you know mm -hmm. to escape and uh, you know just found myself recording music and it went everywhere amen i thank god uh, now for how he's using you uh we will take a little break and when we come back we'll talk about your music that has crossed over zambia to all the african countries and uh, making headline news so don't you go away we will be right back Are you, are you? Hey! Our ears have heard and our eyes have seen And I know we'll be blessed by you Seen a lot of people blessed by you, Jehovah You are the good you want us by fire You are the good you want us by fire So bless us, touch us, heal us, oh Lord so bless us, touch us, heal us, oh Lord, you are the fire.
Welcome back to Gospel Drum. In case you're just joining in with me in the studios, it's no other but the son of Africa, Ephraim. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Your music, it's so anointed. No, we thank God. Hallelujah. You took over Zambia, mm. and now you have crossed over Zambia to all the African countries. Mm. So what is the reason for your success? God has been the reason for my success. Amen. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't want to take credit because I know where I'm coming from. I'm coming from a background, like I said, where I did not have a good voice. You know, mm. everybody thought mm. uh, I, didn't, I didn't deserve a place, you know, in, in the choir. But then I prayed to God and God gave me a voice. And, and so I'm just living according to what God, you know, um, had, uh, uh, according to the agreement or the covenant that I had made with God to say, if you give me a good voice, I'll sing for you. That's exactly what I'm doing. So God has been the, the reason for my success. Mm, That's mm, right. Mm. So which other African countries are really enjoying your music? I know Tanzania. Okay. Uh, but you don't speak Swahili. Uh, uh, yeah, so, I, I mean. I, yeah, I mean, I don't speak Swahili, <laughs> but, uh, you know, when you have a... When you have uh, the anointing of God over your life, you want, even, even though you don't speak, you want other people to, to trust, translate your songs and then sing it. Mm. Yeah, because what is important, like you said, is the anointing. I mean, I would, I would, I would be a miserable musician, gospel musician today if, there's, if I don't feel the anointing of God in, my, in, in the music. Amen. Because then I'm Amen. just making noise. Mm. So I try by all means to uh, listen to God. And, you know, um, if he says, oh, go to East Africa, I go to East Africa. If he says, go to Southern Africa, mm -hmm. I go to Southern Africa. So have you been to East Africa yet? I've been to East Africa and have done two albums in Swahili. Are you kidding that's me? That's right. That's right. And Amen. both of them are a great success. Hallelujah. Um, yeah. Hallelujah. We thank God. Well, God, like I said, God has raised you for a time like this Amen. to touch lives to touch the younger people to, because you're not only touching the younger people but you're mm. also touching the older folks when mm. I listen to your music uh, I mean I, this one I don't even understand the wordings of the song but I love the beat uh, you could mm. sense the anointing that okay. is there even the one that you are the fire I okay. love that one too you know Good. God has just blessed you and um, you know one, we know one amazing thing is uh, when people ask me so how did you write this song mm. and uh, you know like I don't I don't even know how to explain to them because I don't write this 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 these songs mm. uh, God will just give you a rhythm you know and you're there on the keyboard you know you're meditating on God and the song just comes like that and then I record I have a studio at home mm -hmm. you know and then you just get a microphone and then sing 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 the next thing you hear oh it's a good song and mm -hmm. whatnot but I, I believe you know when you're in the presence of God and God gives you a rhythm mm -hmm. you know and then you just flow like you're just receiving and speaking what you're receiving Amen. so I, I've never sat down to write a song mm. most of the time yeah most of the time I just find myself in the studio you know, come up with a rhythm, you know, on the keyboard, and then the next thing you find yourself singing a, a new song. Amen, amen. You know, I'm sitting and I'm wondering, what is your day like? What is a day like in uh, the life of Ephraim? Okay. You know, so anointed. What are you doing? I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, um, yeah, sometimes I wake up like four in the morning. Yeah. You know, sometimes to pray mm. and then sometimes to you know go outside just and just do some jogging <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh, <laughs> just uh -huh. to yeah yeah to keep uh, keep uh, keep the momentum mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes uh, it depends uh, but m most of the time you know I find you know like God will just wake you up mm -hmm. and he wants you to obey and sometimes I never used to understand you know you wake up and they're like oh, what am I doing <laughs> now what, uh -huh. what next uh -huh, uh -huh. and then and then and then one day uh, my spiritual mom, you know, told me that uh, actually when you when you when you woke up early in the morning, then God wants to speak to you. Mm. So just obey. And I started. That's how I started my my morning prayers. Mm. And that has been like uh, uh, over some uh, over over some good years now. Amen. You know, it has Amen. really made me grow and yeah. spiritually. Hallelujah. Yeah. So. Hallelujah. Mm. Amen. That's right. Uh, I, we are going to talk about uh, your the last album before this one. Okay. Lekeni 
Like in Iloke. Iloke. We'll talk about that one because that was the one that gave you the break. That's right. In your music career. That's right. So when we come back, we'll take a little break and then we'll talk about that one. Level up, Pepa from Dunamis Life Chapel, and you're watching Gospel Drum. Be transformed, inspired, and encouraged. Welcome again to Gospel Drum. My name is Josephine Tanga. And with me in our Lister studios here in Maryland is the son of Africa, Ephraim. I want us to talk about uh, the album that gave you your break in the music industry. Okay. And that is Lesa Tali. Tali Kalesha. That's right. Lesa Tali ah. Kalesha. <laughs> Lesa Tali. Kalesha. Kalesha. That's right. What does that mean? Okay, it means God will never forsake you. Hallelujah. And that's indeed, right. he did not forsake you as far as this album is concerned. That's right. That's right. You know, what was that experience like? You know, because like as Riley said, it's not your first album. Yeah. You've had several albums. That's right. But this one gave you your break. That's right. What did you do differently? What did I do? Um, sometimes, you, you know, when God is taking you to different levels, he makes you pass through the fire, you mm. know, mm -hmm. where you where you go like, oh, now this is it. I think I'm finished now. So, you know, I, I went through a rough time, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and, uh, you know, so many people who had, you know, had promised me and who loved me, you know, just suddenly, you know, gave up, you know, because of what I went through. And I, and, and, uh, and I remember, I remember, you know, I started singing these songs like in my spirit to say God will never forsake me. Though these other people, uh, you know, may for, forsake mm -hmm. me and forget about me, but mm -hmm. I know one thing that God will never forsake Amen. me. Amen. Amen. Yeah, and Amen. Um, I remember I went to the studio, mm -hmm. and uh, and w it was it, it is the very first song that we did in the studio. So I w I went in the studio, and uh, we made the instrumental, and uh, we started play, play, uh, uh, playing the keyboard. And uh, the next thing I saw, everybody was just worshiping God in the studio. Amen. You know, we Amen. ended up, it, it, it was like a Amen. worship service, Amen. you know. And, I, and I, I felt in my spirit, you know, like everything that was, you know, holding me bound, like mm -hmm. just broke loose. And, mm. and there was just so much, you know, we started praying. Everybody was praying in time, the producer, you know, Amen. the guys who uh, came Hallelujah. to back me up, you know, everybody was just... You know, somewhere, like, like we're not in that studio, like we're in a church Amen. where the Holy Spirit is. That's, that's what happened. And we did a song, you, you won't believe it. We, we did it, we did everything uh, from, from, from the beginning to the end in one day and the song was done. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It and was the hand of God. That's right. It's the hand of God. Hallelujah. And, uh, you know, I didn't know, and, uh, you know, Later on, I, I discovered that, you know, whatever I was going through, many people were going through that. And it was like, oh, this song is like you sang, you, sang, you, you sang about me, you know. And I was like, oh, my God. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was saying that song was, you know, ministering to me, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So uh, I guess, you know, God made me to go through the fire, mm -hmm. you know, not, not just for, for me, but, but for, for, others, others, yes. for others as well. And mm -hmm. the title of the song is Lesa Tali Kalesha. That's right. Let's talk about that video also. Okay. How, I mean, what was it like shooting that video and putting it together? <laughs> it was good. It was fun. I mean, I loved it. Uh, you know, when a song, when a song is powerful, it's good. Mm -hmm. You know. It's people, easy yeah, to yeah, do the video, yeah, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> people cr come up with uh, different ideas. Uh -huh. Oh, why don't you do this? Uh -huh, uh -huh. And I'm one person who, uh, I don't believe in doing things alone. I believe in Corporate, corporate yeah anointing so i, yeah. I believe when Hallelujah. someone comes up with an idea to say why don't you do this i mean i'm i'm a very receptive mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. person amen, amen that's right i just want us to take some time and watch this video just be blessed with the video Tu mi un fuet 
That was a powerful video. Thank you. What was the secret? The secret, like I've, you know, I've always mentioned, you know, prayer. Yeah. You know, it may, it may seem like you know what you're doing, but <coughs> when a anything that you're doing that comes with prayer stands, Amen. you know. So mm -hmm. I believe, I believe uh, it came out of prayer. Mm. And looking at the quality of the video coming from Africa. Mm. Oh my God! <laughs> we used to believe that you know no good thing can any good thing come out of Africa. <laughs> Look at the quality of the video. Mm. It is a masterpiece. We oh, thank God. We thank wow! God. It looks like you have some really good producers in Zambia. We d we do have we do have. They are now coming out and stepping out. Mm -hmm. I think uh, people say Africa is a dark place, dark <laughs> the, it's a dark land. But uh, you know. What is coming out of dark is light now. That's what the Bible Amen. says. If you Amen. believe, you need to step out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what color of skin you have. You, know, you, just, you just need to step out Amen. You know, Amen. and speak Amen. it. Say, Amen. I may be dark, but I know I carry the light of God Hallelujah. within me. You know. Amen. That's Amen. right. Amen. Amen. And it is that same light that you're carrying within you that is making your whole family to be so proud of you. Mm, your right. father said, oh, whenever I go out and I introduce mm. myself like right. the father of Ephraim, I get first class treatment. <laughs> <laughs> And also Thank your brother-in-law. Oh, that's it. it's my brother-in-law. I said, wow, I get first-class treatment. Oh. Amen. It's just the anointing that is that's making right. the difference. That's right. It's, it's God. I mean, I cannot, <laughs> I mean, it's something that I cannot even say, oh, yes, it's because of me that you guys are. Uh, no, no, I mean, I know, I know where all that is coming from. Mm. And it's coming from Jesus. Amen. Had it not been for the Lord, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, or oh, none, 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 none of that would have, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, you give him all That's the glory. Right. He said he will not share his glory yeah, with anyone. No, he will never share Amen. glory. Amen. 